Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2013 on a 13 plate. It is the Volkswagen Caddy 1.6 TDI short wheelbase start line. Uh, although it wasn't called start line in this era, era it was just called a 1.6 TDI base. Um, it does have the electric pack, so it does have electric windows. It does have um, CD player, ABS brakes, remote central locking. Um, now, overall, I would say it's in great condition for the age. It has had a cam belt done on it. Refer to the advert and the pictures for the dates and mileages of that. I think it's had clutch master cylinder. We've got fairly good history with it, to be fair. Um, coming off a company that we deal with, um, they inherited it when they, uh, when they purchased it off another company. So overall a good condition but the purpose of this video is to give you warts and all video walk around so you'll get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying so we all start up here on the roof our roof looks from this angle to be in pretty good condition oh as he walks into the mirror uh what have we got going on here a couple of flies we've got a couple of stone chips on the leading edge of the roof okay it's just volkswagen candy white that's a fly one there look uh, we'll get uh, we'll go over those bit of tea cut first of all, and then go around them with a touch up stick, and that should uh, should sort it all out for us. To be fair, windscreen in overall good condition. We do have a stone chip here in the windscreen. Uh, I don't think that is in the MOT failable zone. We will be putting a fresh MOT. Oh, we may already have MOT it actually. So um, yeah, yeah, that's obviously not anything to worry about. Coming down onto the bonnet, the bonnet is in good overall condition. It's been parked under the tree at work after it's been washed, so there's bits and pieces of tree on it. But overall, that is a bit of tree. If I can look at that, if I can get rid of it. Um, yeah, so good overall condition. They don't particularly chip up or anything, these bonnets, so it's in good overall condition. Minor, minor, minor stone chips, but, uh, but nothing major on there at all. If I'm going over it slowly. We're about 30 centimetres away from the bonnet at that point. And as you can see, good overall condition. Front of the vehicle, your front grills, front of the front bumper, all looking good. Um, no major damage there. Your passenger side headlamp unit, that is in good order. Your passenger side front bumper corner, minor, minor scuffing, nothing major at all. Um, and then looking down the side profile of the van from this angle, in pretty good overall condition, I've got to say. There's nothing major there. I can see a couple of little dent mandings on the passenger door. I'll point those out to you when we get round there. Just noticed a little, in actual fact, I think that mark there is going to tee cut off, so I wouldn't worry about that. Driver side headlamp unit, that's all good. Driver side front bumper corner, that's all looking pretty good as well. And if we look down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle, down the driver side again, very, very straight and tidy the van is. Driver's side front wing in good overall condition. Oh, we've got a little bit of something going on there. Which you would almost say is a bit of corrosion to be fair. It's not very stand out though. Only just noticed it. So it is there, we're gonna point it out to you, okay? We have a factory steel wheel that's got a non-factory hubcap on it. Uh, what have we got going on there? A continental tire, that's a bit posh, isn't it? Um, Tire tread depth, as you can see there. Now, where we are with tire tread depth, anything less than three millimeters we replace, the legal limit being 1.6. Mirror unit, that's all looking good. Driver's door glass, good overall. So, bloody telephone's gone off, so I'll have to patch this video together. But, um, so, driver's door, look at the driver's door uh, uh, alignment from wing to rear quarters. You can see everything lines up as it should. The door itself is in good overall condition. Your door handle and locks all good. Have a look at your door edges as it comes down here. And you can see that those are in good condition as well. A couple of minor, minor touchings required just on the edge there and there. And then your driver side sill. As you can see, that's in good condition as well. No apparent damage. Uh, driver side rear quarter is the big panel, the big quarter panel. Uh, and that again is in good overall condition. Driver's side rear steel wheel, non-factory hubcap and the Continental tyre on there. That tyre has loads of tyre tread depth as you can see. And then if we just look down the side profile of the van from this angle, hopefully you can see 
for starters, it's got a nice gleam to it. So it's got a bit of a mirror finish going on there. Your driver's side rear bumper corner is in good order. Driver's side rear light is in good order. Now what we have got here is, um, obviously there's a little bit of a ding there. Uh, that'll, that'll take it off. A little bit of a ding that needs a touch in. So again, we'll get that sorted out on it for you, okay. Uh, rear of the vehicle is the barn doors on a 60-40 split. Um, as you can see with this van, it's been specified with the heated rear window in the clear glass uh, with the rear wash wipe and the caged bulkhead so you can see all the way through to the back. If you, um, if you need, we've got a window tinter that can put a limo tint on there. You know, you can, uh, we've got a detail, we've got a sign writer that can put the black un unsee-through tint on it. So yeah, there's various options or you just buy it as it is, don't you? Um, door on this side and glass all looking neat and tidy. Passenger side, all looking good. Even your door edges all looking in pretty good condition and then your rear bumper as you can see whilst there are some marks on it there's nothing major on there it's actually i would say for the year and the miles it's in better condition than you would expect and then opening up the rear of the vehicle as you can see you have got that um, full height bulkhead but with the caged upper half so you can see through into the back your ply lining in the back it's done a job, but it's still in good overall condition. And the inside of the van, to be fair, is all pretty good. It doesn't appear to have been sort of builder abused. No offense to any builders watching this video. So there we go. As I say, uh, above average condition, I would say, for the year. Looking down the profile of the van from this angle, down the passenger side, again, good overall, overall condition. Rear light unit this side's all good. Rear bumper corner this side's all good. Your upper quarter on this side's all looking good. Your side rail on this side is all good. Here is your fuel flap with lockable fuel filler. Again, little mark there, which I think will probably tea cut out better than what it has, I don't think. Then steel wheel this side, non-factory hubcap, another continental tyre. That tyre has loads of tyre tread depth, as you can see there. Sliding door, again, good overall condition. The lower sills, getting down low, looking at those, good overall condition. Your passenger door on this side, all looking good. The passenger side front window glass, again, all good, mirror unit and mirror all looking good door handles all good door edges from the front door to the sliding door all looking good we have a really minor little parking ding there but nothing major and then passenger side front wing again good overall condition we do have a little bit of a ding there so at some point i'd suggest something's hit it uh, and it's just dinged the wing a little bit down there but i don't think you're going to worry too much about that on this age are you and then steel wheel, non-factory hubcap, another continental tyre. That tyre has that amount of tyre tread depth there. And then sliding door, sliding door opens up. I've just noticed a little touch in there on the sliding door. Sliding door opens up. The rear step could be cleaner and better dressed, if I'm honest with you. I'm sure we can clean that up. But as I say, overall, the inside of the vehicle is in pretty good condition. Your door shuts are really nice and tidy. Your entry seals and plastics down here, again, very nice and tidy. Door shuts clean and tidy. Passenger side door card, again, very clean and tidy. Top of the dashboard, very clean and tidy. Vents are good. Just the driver's airbag on this one. Book pack is there with your handbooks. And then your seat, as you can see, is in nice, clean, tidy condition. 
just looking down the side of your seats, underneath your seats, in the middle, between your seats. Uh, we clean these vans properly. Seats are job to get them all nice and clean so you're not carrying around somebody else's dust and rubbish on them. Sliding door shuts nicely. And then on your driver's side, your driver's side door card again, as you can see, door cards in good order, nice and clean and tidy, electric window switches, electric heated mirrors with central locking. Your door shuts again are very, very tidy. Your driver's side seat, we've had the seat squab repaired on it, so that's all nice. And then your flooring again and pedal rubbers are all good. We have manual lights, uh, rear fog light, um, dashboard illumination, headlamp levelers, air vent all looking good. Uh, turning the vehicle on, telling us we need a service now. So uh, we'll get that service before it goes out. That's not an issue. Um, and if I fire it up, uh, it'll just go through a systems check. Uh, we have got a little crack on the binnacle there, I think. Is that a crack or a scratch? Whatever it is, it's there, okay? So um, that will uh, it'll be as it is, I'm afraid. Steering wheel is actually relatively unworn. Which, for the age of the miles, this is obviously the era where Volkswagen were building them properly, yeah? Dashboard vents all looking good. No air con, I'm afraid. That would be nice, wouldn't it? But there's your heated rear window air recirculation, heater controls, blower fans, and where you want the air blowing to. We do have a stereo radio. What have we got? Just FM and AM. Um, so, um, yeah, you've got just FM and AM with a CD player though. Don't forget the CD player. 12 volt power, ashtray, five speed manual box. But overall, I'd say it's in pretty good condition. 144,945 on the mileage. Um, good history with it. Cam belt's been done, obviously. Um, so that's one of your major things, isn't it? And overall, I would say it's in good all-round condition. Now, there are 60 to 70 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Um, Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. If you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, Google, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, and be quick because a caddy in this price range, in this condition, with this history, uh, isn't going to last very long, to be fair, folks. So, um, yeah, have a look at the video and give us a call. Cheers. Bye.